Hi guys, this is part two of my tutorial uh, forge video. I've done a long uh, racetrack with large shield doors. As you can see, what I've done was the first one that I said to you, place in the air, whichever way you want it, sideways, up, down, vertical, whatever, and then save changes, then end the game, then start the game again, and just repeatedly uh, just repeat the same over and over with each shield that's what I've done and the track stops here I'm just gonna get a double wall put that there another double wall There, get another double wall, put it on top, another double wall, put it on top, give it a few seconds, delete the bottom walls, save changes. Start new round. round over. Go to the mongoose and just drive forward, and you'll bounce with your ass in the air, so to speak. There you go, but you can't walk on the shields, as you can see. You can if you want to, you can put uh, double walls sideways underneath. Let's give it a try, I'll show you. Get a double wall, turn it sideways, go underneath. Now it's gone. It's like very hard. Yeah. You can do it, but I just haven't got the patience at the moment. That's the race track. Um, let's do. What shall we try? We'll get a double box open. Turn it on its side. Put it up in the air a bit. Don't let go. Save changes. End the game. game over. Yes, it dropped down, but when I start again, it should be floating. There we have the floating box. Go right down near the bottom, man cannon, turn it on its side, whichever angle you want, save changes. End the game. Start the game. Got a deja vu going on here. And we 
have one man cannon. I might have to move it forward. Yeah. But as you can see, you can pretty much do what you want in Forge. Let's move it back a bit at an angle slightly. Press start. Save changes. End the game. Just moved it forward a bit so it's not in the way. Start the game. Does work. You got a few, do a few tweaks here and there, but you get the adjust of the idea. Um, like you know, probably put two, two double open boxes on this sides, on both sides. Uh, save the changes, end the game, start the game again. Uh, place the man cannon or, well yeah, man cannon underneath in the hole. Uh, get the angle right. Put two man cannon, save the changes, end the game, start the game again and then it shoots you up to the top here to the mongoose uh, you could even put like walls or fences on the side to stop you going um, to stop you missing the mongoose Doo -doo -doo. Uh, what else should we try let's try a floating machine gun turret Good. double box Turn it on its side, press RB, get a teleport two way node. The arrows at the bottom indicate uh, like which way you're going to be facing when you come out of the teleport. So place it facing forward. LB to go to weapons, go right down near the bottom. Machine gun turret. Turn it around. Get another teleport. Go to teleporters, two way node. Turn it around so the orange arrow is facing the way you want to go into the teleport. Um, save changes. Delete the box, save changes, end the game. Start the game again. I don't know if it's far enough, you might have to run and grab the gun quick. There we go. Aim for the stairs. Cool. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, video tutorial. I'll probably do more again soon. I've got lots more uh, of my Foundry maps to download onto my account and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave comments and ratings and um, add me on Xbox Live uh, Civic 95 CIV 1 C uh, space 95 and I'll play with you soon on Xbox Live. Alright, thanks, bye.